This is exercise 15.1.2a, editing multi-line text. I'm in the floor plan 15 drawing in the steps lesson 15 folder. In our last exercise, 15.1.1a, we created this multi-line text. What we're going to do today is edit this text by importing some new text and editing the whole thing. To reopen the multi-line text editor, you can simply double click on the text that you need to edit. AutoCAD reopens the text editor and shows me the visor. All right, I'm going to hit my end key to go to the end of this line. I'll turn my bold off. I'll set my size to six inches. I'll hit enter twice and I'll left justify. Now I'm ready to import my text. I'll right click within the body of the text. I'll pick import text. The text I want to import is in the steps less than 15 folder. I want to import the notes.txt file. AutoCAD imports it and it's ready to be edited. Let's start by selecting the, t the notes line. To do that, I hold down my left mouse button while I drag across notes. I want this line to be bold and underlined. I'll hit my, my home key and it will deselect the notes. I'll come down a line, hold down my shift key, and go down three times. Notice that that selects those three lines. I want those three lines to be bold. Now, let's place our cursor to the right of square feet, deselect the bold, hit my space bar, and we'll type in 1950. There are 1950 square feet in this floor plan. Come down, hit my space bar, turn my bold off. Bedrooms, we have four. Down one more time. Turn my bold off, space, and baths, we have two. Let's save our text, save our drawing, and go back and continue to edit. It's just a good idea occasionally to come out and save what you're doing. We'll make the remainder of the remainders of the titles will make them all bold note that I can select the word hold down the command key and type B to embolden selected text now let's see if we can number our text select all the notes below the word notes and I'm simply holding down my left mouse button while I drag over it. From the bullets and numbers list, I'm going to right click, go to bullets and numbers, and I want these to be numbered. And AutoCAD numbers my list. It has a little too much of a space here for me, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to move the parag paragraph indent marker, pick and drag over a couple of spaces, like so. And I'll do the same with the tab, like so. Now I'm finished with this exercise. I'll save my text and I'll save my drawing.